Hey guys, Rich here with Brotherhood Reviews and we're back talking about One Piece Chapter 1071. We got an early release because of the new year coming around, uh, coming up this weekend. Um, and let it, let's start off by, you know, saying thank you guys uh, for clicking on my video and like, comment, and subscribe if you want more of these reviews and breakdowns i also do anime tv and movie content as well on this channel so i don't only do one piece content so definitely check it out now let's start off with the breakdown um there was a note saying that they just got it out to us early but with that being said i feel like there's something missing out of this chapter maybe they left out a pa uh, page or something but there's just something feels um wrong with the flow of this chapter um i feel like they're cutting away too soon in certain places but let's get into the breakdown because that's what you guys are here for and let's start off what happens we figure out where our uh, kuma ends up landing and he ends up landing right in front of the gates of the holy land and everybody starts panicking and freaking out and then um an announcement comes o over the loudspeaker announcing that everybody to evacuate and to stay off as far away from him as possible he is dangerous and they do not know his new programmings if they, he does have any Bartholomew Kuma Bartholomew Kuma is just laying there he once he appears and this is probably my biggest disappointment because I could have sworn he was going to go to Egghead and help out the Straw Hats um, for some reason but this is still an interesting change to where he actually is now we cut from there to the straw hats and um Lucci and the rest of the cp0 uh pretty much are disregarding the navy's orders and they have some issues with um the barrier so they end up being able to get on onto the laboratory so with that being said Lucci is like all right yeah we have no choice but to try and stop him now and we can't wait and Lucci has says he can't accept luffy as an emperor after even after getting knocked out like that but uh they send the giraffe dude to pretty much go destroy the ship and then he ends up clashing with zoro because zoro's like who who's waking me from my sleep and the other thing is Brooke is still on on the boat. Uh, Brooke decided to stay back as well. So we still have him just in case somebody tries to jump in, you know, because, you know, we ain't having that, even though Zoro doesn't matter. But he does look panicked fighting Zoro, the draft dude. He doesn't seem like he... He, 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 he seems like he's stronger, but he realizes that Zoro is most likely on another level, which... You know what I mean? Especially if we get another Ashura, you know, but I doubt that he's going to pull out an Ashura on, on CP0. Um, now, we from CP0, we cut uh, to what's happening like in the lab and Vegapunks talking to the regular, the rest of the Vegapunks and they're pretty much get, uh almost done getting their stuff together. Lilith wants to stay and fight, but you know, Vegapunk's like, yeah, no, like, don't be ridiculous. We gotta get out of here. So they end up getting that together. And then Bonnie turns around and is trying to destroy Vegapunk. And it's like, yo, grow up. Like, this isn't the time or place right now. There's CP0, and obviously they're coming with backup knowing that uh, uh, Emperor's here. Um, and we also get him talking on a Denden Mushi to somebody secretive that we don't know that's hiding on that that island. Now he knows the person uh, on the Denden Mushi is pretty much saying like I've been waiting for this moment for for 
for these orders. So he knew there was going to be a day where he was going to have to come out of hiding to help Vegapunk escape. So with that being said, like, I wonder, I really want to know who it is. And I wonder if they're going to end up going on with Luffy's ship as well onto the to the next island, which is most likely Elbath. Um, and which brings us to the next part, which we see Kid finally arriving at Elbath. We only see it in silhouette and you know, all we see is a one mountain and they see a giant fish and you know, the crew seems excited, um Kid seems excited and you know, I, I can't wait to see what happens to them on Elbath because, you know, Kid's a little hot-headed, so he might try and fight um, Loki or something. Uh, now, after that, uh, the final panel, double panel, uh, final two pages uh, with the double page spread, um, and it's Garp getting to G14, and he's like, well, uh, Garp is on the phone with G14, and he pretty much is telling people, like, oh, yeah, uh, ready some forces, um, blah, 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 thing. and they say, oh, yeah, we don't have extra forces to this, and he's like, you know what, well, I'm, I'm outside, and they're like, you're what, and he's like, yeah, help Meppo, like, let's go, and help Meppo, and, uh, Habari, um, they're both crying like and he's like yo let's go beat up these pirates you know what i'm saying like let's go get kobe back and beat up some some pirates so hell Meppo's rescue mission is about to commence uh and, and in a way that's gonna help law escape so i think it's a win-win um but that's it. But that's what I'm saying. This is a very short chapter. And it feels like we're missing something. It feels like um, we're just cutting. Like we cut a couple times missing like a page or two. But um, who knows? We'll see when the uh, officials come out on Viz, on the Viz app. I always, I always read both. So, um, yeah. Uh, l let me know your thoughts on this chapter. Um, and I hope you guys have a good day, time, night, whenever you guys are listening to this. Thank you.